हेलो स्टूडेंट्स लास्ट टाइम वी हैव स्टार्टेड विद द इंडियन सिस्टम ऑफ मेडिसिन डेमोस्ट्रेशन ऑफ सम क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर्स टुडे वील कंटिन्यू विद द सेम सेक्शन नाउ वी ऑलरेडी कवर्ड एक्सप्लेन द प्रोविजन ऑफ इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चरल रिक्वायरमेंट मशीनरी एंड इक्विपमेंट एज पर शेड्यूल टी जी एम पी ऑफ आई एस एम टूडे वील सी द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन दैट इज वॉट आर द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ जी एम पी एंड शेड्यूल टी फॉलोइंग आर ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ जी एम पी दैट इज शेड्यूल टी फर्स्ट इज रॉ मटेरियल यूज इन मैनुफैक्चर ऑफ ड्रग्स आर ऑथेंटिक एंड फ्री फ्रॉम कंटामिनेट्स All raw materials procured for manufacturing will be stored in the raw material store. The manufacturer, based on experience and the characteristic of the particular raw material used in ASU medicine, shall decide the use of appropriate container, which would protect the quality of raw material as well as prevent it from damage due to dampness, microbiological contaminant. or rodent etc if certain raw material requires such controlled environmental conditions the raw material store may be subdivided with proper enclosure to provide such conditions by suitable cabinet while designing such container cabins or area in the raw material store care may be taken to handle the following different categories of raw materials those are raw material of metallic origin raw material of mineral origin raw material from animal source fresh herbs dry herbs or plant parts excipients etc water oils or perfumes and flavors and finally plant concentrates extracts and exudates or resins next objective is the manufacturing process is as per the standards important features of gmp are the operations are should be in a isolated enclosed system or building providing a suitable exhaust system laminar flow sterile air system for sterile product should be there the germicidal efficiency of uv lamp shall be checked regularly and recorded individual containers of liquid and ophthalmic solutions shall be examined for foreign metal expert technical staff shall check and compare actual yield against theoretical yield before final distribution of batch and all process control as required under master formula shall be checked and recorded next objective is adequate quality control measures are adopted and the manufactured drug is of acceptable quality every licensee is required to provide facility for quality control section in his own premises or through government approved testing laboratory the test shall be as per the ayurveda siddha and unani pharmacopoeia standards the quality control section shall verify all the raw materials monitor in process quality check and control the quality of finished product being released to finished good store or warehouse and preferably for such quality control there will be separate experts the quality control section shall have following facilities there should be 150 square feet area for quality control section for identification of raw drugs their reference book and reference sample should be maintained to verify the finished product control samples of finished products of each batch will be kept till the expiry date of product keep record in establishing shelf life and storage requirements for the drugs the standards for identity purity and strength as given in respective pharmacopoeias of asu medicine shall be complied with all the products all raw materials will be monitored for fungal bacterial contaminations with view of minimizing such contamination further quality control section will have minimum of expert with a degree in asu recognized stream 
under the Schedule II of Indian Medicinal Central Council Act 1970. Chemist with bachelor degree in science or pharmacy or pharmacy in Ayurveda awarded by recognized university. A botanist or pharmacognosist with a bachelor degree in science or medical or pharmacy or Ayurveda awarded by recognized university. Quality Control Section Act for the Section 35 of Ayush Act and Rule 160A of Drug and Cosmetic Act. And the list of equipment recommended in Schedule T. Then, fifth objective is ensure the achievement of objective listed above. This is a very important objective of the achievement of all the objectives mentioned above. Now we move to the next question that is what is standard operating procedure give importance of SOP in GMP of ASU medicines. SOP or standard operating procedure. A standard operating procedure is a set of step by step instructions compiled by an organization to help workers carry out complex routine operations. SOPs aim to achieve efficiency, quality, output and uniformity of performance while reducing miscommunication and failure to comply with regulations. Following is a checklist of SOPs availability as per the GMP guidelines. These are the SOPs mandatory while the inspection of as per the GMP guidelines happens in any manufacturing or quality control premises of ASU medicine manufacturer. Handling of material SOP. Cleaning of container and closure before packing of product SOP. Cleaning maintenance and sanitization of major equipment SOP. Receipt of raw material and other components SOP. Quarantine and storage SOP. Quality control system and approve or rejection SOP. Release of production SOP. In process testing and control finished product SOP. Distribution or return goods or recalls or complaints SOP. These are some important SOPs which has to be mentioned in the premises of ASU manufacturer. So student, today we have answer a three major questions from the unit 4 of Indian Systems of Medicine which is a subject of Pharmacognosy stream in M Farm Mumbai University. Further discussions on the subject please subscribe the channel for updates and information in Indian Systems of Medicine. Thank you.